already. Family. It's going to be a good one tonight. I can feel it in my bones. In my bones. It's going to be some powerful, powerful prayer tonight. We're going to do some powerful stuff. I promise. God is going to move mightily, not because I say so, but because we are called to heal the sick, cast out demons, spread the gospel. So, I'm going to wait for somebody to join in. And we are going to get this show on the road. We're going to be praying for healing, praying for deliverance. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. This is going to be a good one. I cannot wait. <laughs> Fix the stash. Yes. Add on, decked out in the gear, got my Lion of Judah Bible, ESV, and I got my prayer list, praise the Lord, we're going to do some work, let's get to work, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Gotta be consistently bringing it to the kingdom of darkness, putting on our spiritual armor, preparing for combat in the spiritual realm. Not doing this for popularity or whatever. Just want to do the will of the Father and he has been spurring my spirit like crazy to pray and set the captives free. Amen. So that is what we're doing tonight. I'm gonna set those captives free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Alrighty. Let's start in one more minute and then we're gonna get this show on the road. Thank you, Jesus. Put the comment time to battle with the swords. And that awesome. Okay, let's get situated. Let's get started. Let's set up our zone. Let's get into a a, a, a moment of praise worship prayer combat prayers let's do some work i am ready um let's start off with our verse for the night verse that's going to solidify this whole session right now in the name of jesus here we go the 72 returned with joy saying lord even the demons are subject to us in your name and he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority. Here we go. Authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you. But rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. This is what I'm talking about. He sends out his disciples. They come back with the report saying, Jesus, even the demons obey our commands to be casted out. It, and it's just a beautiful picture of what happens when you are filled with God's Holy Spirit. When you're filled with the power of God to move mightily and for his kingdom to do damage against the enemy of dark the kingdom of darkness to do to set the captives free to to heal the sick cast out demons proclaim his good word the gospel right that is our verse let me read it just one more time luke chapter 10 verse 17 through 20 the 72 returned with joy saying lord even the demons are subject to us in your name and he said to them i saw satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority 
to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to start off in prayer and then we're going to go to work. I'm ready to do work tonight. I'm ready to pray. I'm ready to intercede. I'm ready to do this thing in the power of the Holy Spirit guiding me through the night. I've been preparing and prepping since this morning uh, by God's grace. He has given this time, this allocated time to pray. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Amen. So here we go. Uh, Father God, I just first and foremost, I give you full, full honor, full praise, Lord, what you're going to do tonight, Lord, I'm ready, I'm, I'm ready to be on the front lines of the spiritual battle, Lord, I'm ready to pray and intercede on behalf of those that have requested prayer, on those that that, are, that will be joining in, those are going to be watching this later, Lord, I know, Lord, it's not just about the here and now, it's the spiritual realm, it's an eternal realm, so Lord, I take these prayers to the spiritual realm, Lord, that will even affect what is to come, Lord, through your will be done. Hallelujah, Lord. I just be praying for the Holy Spirit to fill and intervene. I do not want to quench the Holy Spirit tonight. I'm going to pray in the fullness of your authority. Lord, I'm asking for everything that you have for me, Lord. Let it be received in your time. Father God, let there be a, a prayers happening tonight. Breakthrough prayers. Breakthrough of strongholds. Uh, uh, casting out of demons. Let deliverance happen tonight. Father God, let there be healing on the sick. Complete healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I have the faith. I'm coming with the faith of a mustard seed. I'm not doubting your power. I have witnessed it all day. So you've been filling my spirit, man. You've been filling my spirit, man, with an eagerness and a hunger to battle tonight with the spirits and demons to try to claim authority and territory over my family, declaring territory over my workplace, over my co-workers. Father God, I am coming with the sword of the spirit upon my mouth in my hands i am wearing the full and complete armor i am ready to do and dish out damage to the kingdom of darkness holy spirit i feel your presence so strongly i am ready to battle i'm ready to battle just lead my tongue lead my lips lead this prayer meeting i don't care what happens next i don't care what's who's watching i don't care all i care about lord is your will be done on earth as it is in heaven i praise you lord for this as we open up our, our prayer meeting with this beginning peace and I say this in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, first set of prayers. I want to pray, seriously pray for my nephews, Carlos Isaac, and my brother-in-law, Memo. I want to pray with the fire of heaven upon my lips. I want to pray these words that we have the ability to, to have the demons be subject to to our commands i am i am i'm walking in the authority of jesus christ i'm walking in that authority it says that you will do greater things than me in the earth when i am when i'm gone i will send you my holy spirit great comforter to to convict you of sin righteousness and judgment to dwell within your temple to consecrate your body so that it can be a dwelling place for the spirit of god i'm ready i'm ready to intercede i'm ready to go to work let's do this in jesus name let's go to battle ready father i'm ready let's do this father god i am ready lord i'm able i want to roar like a lion tonight father god i want to roar with the power of the holy spirit just dwelt within me throughout all my brothers and sisters it's not special to me it's not exclusive to me this is a power that you present to all of the of the children of god father god i am ready to do what you have called me to do which is to pray and intercede and to to, to demolish the work of the enemy to cast deliverance out of, out of these people lord that the spirits may be gone in your most powerful and most precious name in the blood of the lamb they cannot say no hallelujah Lord, I pray and plead right now for my nephews, Carlos Isaac, and my brother-in-law, Guillermo. Lord, I pray right now full and complete deliverance upon their bodies. Lord, any spirits that's within them, Lord, I cast them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I put the sword of the Spirit upon my tongue, upon my lips. Let the Spirit speak right now. Holy Spirit, I'm ready to go to battle. I'm praying right now the spirits of any spirit any of the spirits of disobedience, any spirits of rebellion in my nephews, any uh, a spirit of lukewarmness in my brother-in-law, Lord, whatever spirit they dwell in their temples, Lord, let them be casted out and rebuked in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Lord, I pray for full repentance an honest and genuine repentance out of their hearts lord let them come to their knees and repentance to come to the spiritual altar where they call out abba father to cry out to your name to say father i am not worthy to be in your presence i'm not worthy of the salvation that you give lord i ask and humbly 
uh, of wanting to receive the, the gift of salvation, the free gift of salvation. Lord, I pray they repent of their sins and they surrender the crowns of their hearts to you, Jesus Christ, that they will be disciples in your name. Hallelujah. That they will be running their show in their neighborhoods. Hallelujah. They'll be casting out demons in their neighborhood. Hallelujah. Casting out demons wherever they sit, wherever they stand, wherever they sleep, Lord, wherever they move, Lord. Let demons be fearful of the power that you're going to place inside of these young men, Lord. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that these men will be filled with your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, speak through me tonight. I'm ready to battle. I'm ready to plead the blood over these men. I'm pleading the blood over my nephew Carlos. I'm pleading the blood over my nephew Isaac. I'm pleading the blood over my brother-in-law Guillermo, Lord. I'm ready to lay my hands on these men. I'm praying in the spiritual realm, Lord. Father God, we know you do not just exist in the physical. You do not just exist in the spiritual. You do not just exist in the pure and now. You exist past, present, future future you are an eternal god lord i know when i send these prayers up to the throne of grace to the third heavens the heaven of heavenlies lord i know that you can take these prayers and you're already working on them in the future hallelujah lord you may be hearing my prayers but lord you will answer them according to your will be done not mine not what i say not what justin says but what god says for you are my strength and my song and have become my salvation hallelujah lord i praise at the top of the mountain tops lord i praise through the midst of the valleys hallelujah lord i pray over these three men lord that they will come to faith boldly full of deliverance, Lord, boldly, radically changed, on fire for you, not looking back, ready to proclaim your goodness, casting out every demon that's in their body, casting out every demon that tries to come and intervene, Lord, I pray a, a consecrated temples within their bodies, Lord, that the Holy Spirit may dwell within them, Lord, and do the works of you, do the works of the Father, hallelujah, these are my brothers and my sisters and my mothers and my fathers who do the will of the Father, hallelujah, Lord, I lift these three men up in the name of Jesus Christ, let's go I'm ready to battle, Father God, the tongue on my lips. I am ready to do war. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's keep going. Complete healing. Complete healing. Let's go. I'm going to pray complete. Complete prayers. No, 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 no. Backed up. No, no. Oh, God, can you, if you can. No, complete radical healing prayers. Let's go. I'm praying for my mother-in-law in the name of Jesus who is in my room. I'm lifting my hands right now in the name of Jesus. Let's go. I'm ready to battle. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, just speak through me right now. Lord, I'm ready to target the attack. I am spiritually sniping and praying for specific healing right now. Lord, I'm praying over my mother-in-law right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I lift my hands up in the spiritual realm. She's in currently in my room right now with my wife and my children. Lord, I lift my hands up to my mother-in-law right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be complete and total healing in the name of Jesus Christ, the Yeshua HaMashiach. You are the Father. Uh, the Father, Lord, I beg and plead through the blood of Christ, through the means of the Holy Holy Spirit, Lord, I'm praying right now. I'm lifting my hands up in the air, Lord. I am ready to pray complete and total healing by faith. I come with the faith of a mustard seed to move mountains in your name, Jesus. I come with the power and authority that you have invested in each and every Christian, Lord. I'm praying healing. I'm praying power of healing. I'm praying complete deliverance of any infirmity, any spirit of infirmity in my mother-in-law right now in the name of Jesus. Leave that body right now in the name of Jesus. Any pain, any, 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 any worries, any headaches, any spiritual, mental, physical pain, Lord, I pray pray right now that by your strength Lord she is healed in the name of Jesus from the top of her head to the sole of her feet I'm specifically I'm sniping and specifically praying over the back of her body Lord right 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 by her thighs Lord I'm praying over her knees right now her legs her stomach Lord wherever there's pain in her shoulders Lord and her feet Father God, I'm praying right now specifically over those body parts, Lord. I'm praying specifically over those pains and sores and, and, and difficulties and muscle spasms. And Lord, whatever it is that's causing her to, to ache and pain, Lord, I pray complete healing with the blood of the Lamb upon my lips, the blood of the Lamb upon my mother-in-law, from the top of her head to the sole of her feet right now. Again, complete and total healing from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Let her feel it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. I am not questioning you. I'm not going to hit you with the what if. I'm not going to doubt you no longer, Lord. I'm going to come with the fullness of the Holy Spirit to pray and intercede for my family, Lord, I am ready to roar like a lion, Father God, speak through your vessel, because I am ready to serve, hallelujah, I pray over my mother-in-law, in the name of Jesus, complete and total healing, and I have it in faith, in faith I trust, in faith I trust in you, Jesus, and faith, you say, if I lift my hands, I am have the ability and authority through the means of the Holy Spirit to cast out demons, to heal the sick, and set the captives free, I am praying complete and total healing over my mother-in-law, and I will not question, I will not say nothing, you say, if when you ask in your name, Lord, I am asking in your name, Jesus, let her be healed. 
Hallelujah. Let my father-in-law be healed. Let his knees be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let those knees be restored in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let his body, his back pains, Lord, his legs, his hands, Lord, wherever there's pain in his body, the muscles, the bones, Lord, through the, the, the depths of his core, Lord, I'm praying complete and total healing in the name of Jesus. I lift and extend my hands to my father-in-law's room right now in the name of Jesus. I come with faith of a mustard seed, Lord. I am coming with faith, boldly coming to the throne of grace, Lord. I am boldly and humbly standing, put my head down, Lord, because I know who I speak to. I speak the Father in heaven, but Lord, I thank you, Lord, that I can call you Father. Hallelujah. I can call you my Lord, my Master, but I can call you Father. Father, I petition these prayers of complete healing over my in-laws right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, and I am going to question your power. I have seen it physically. I have heard of stories of complete and total healing, and I believe it to be so. I trust in your name, Jesus Christ, because I know all things, all things are through you. Hallelujah. All things are through you, Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We are coming with the fire of God. Sister Jessica, welcome. Prayer, deliverance. Sister Jessica, whatever it is you need prayer for, sister, throw it in the comments. Throw it in the question box. There's my beloved wife. Hallelujah, babe. I just pray for, for your mother. Pray for your father. I'm praying for complete healing tonight. We are going to battle. I am not questioning God's power. I'm ready to war. Here we go. Next prayer is for Brother Boyce. Uh, his mother, I'm praying complete healing over Brother Boyce's mother. She's in full care right now in the hospital. I'm praying complete healing. I'm praying for reports from the doctors saying they don't even know what happened. All the things, sickness is gone. All the issues of God. I'm praying right now with the faith of a mustard seed. I'm ready to be bold for my faith. Let's go. We're going to pray for Brother Boyce's mother's mother right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord. Father God, I will not cease. Without, I'm not going to pray without ceasing tonight. I'm ready to roar. I'm ready to pray. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to do battle with the enemy. I'm ready to do battle with these spirits and demons. They will not have residence in my brothers and sisters home they will not have residence in my home they will not have residence in the temples of my people in this household lord i'm praying right now for my brother boy smothers for his mother right now who is in full care and critical care in the hospital lord i'm praying right now complete and total healing by the blood of lamb upon her head from the top of her head to the sole of feet i cast out and rebuke the spirit of infirmity in her body lord whatever it is that's a, that is that is causing her pain what is causing her suffering lord i pray right now complete and total healing that she will walk out of that hospital praising the lord hallelujah that she'll be praising the lord saying it's because of Jesus that I've been healed, not because of Justin, not because of a prayer, it's because of Jesus. Jesus heard the plea. Jesus heard the prayer, Lord. I am petitioning and interceding for my brother, boy, mother, his mother right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. I lift my hands up. I lift my tongue up. I lift my lips up to the throne of grace, Lord. I plead and intercede on the behalf of my brother, boy, Moses, his mother right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Let the Spirit of God roar tonight. Holy Spirit, speak through me. I will not quench you. It is your platform. This is your ministry. This is what you need to do. I'm just here as a vessel. Speak through me so that your people may hear the beautiful wonders that happens when a man and woman is filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. When a man and woman is filled with the power of God, the anointing that is given, the power and authority that we have in the Holy Spirit, that we have nothing to fear, nothing to worry about from the enemy, nothing to worry about these spirits and demons. They have nothing on us, no chance, zero, bar none. They are in a different weight class. We outrank them because we have the Holy Spirit of God living within us. And I'm not scared to call them out. I am not scared to call out these demons for what they are. They are suckers and they they think they're better than us. They just play with the illusions and all these things thinking they're better and they're stronger, but they are nothing but puny little wandering spirits aimlessly walking the world. Well, I'm praying right now over my brother, 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 voice, Moses' location. I'm praying over his, where his mother lays her head tonight, Lord. I'm praying complete and total healing by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I anoint the lips right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that wherever she goes, wherever she lays her head, Lord, that she will be completely healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying with faith of a mustard seed, Lord. I believe it. I'm not going to question you. Do your thing. Send your angels. Do your power. Do the miraculous, Lord, and use your children to do what is necessary in this world to be a light and soul to these nations. Hallelujah. Let them be a light and soul to our neighbors. Hallelujah. To be a light and soul to our co-workers, to the doctors where Brother Boyce Moses, Brother Boyce Moses' mother rests her head, Lord. I want my Brother Boyce Moses to be so encouraged by this, Lord, to just be on so on fire for you, Lord, that he will not question. He will believe in faith and receive in faith and let his mother be healed. Hallelujah. Let it be done. I already believe it. I give you glory. I praise you. I give joy and praise and honor to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, who is the mighty deliverer. Hallelujah. You are the mighty conqueror. Let's take these territories, Jesus. Let's take these territories from the enemy and let's show the enemy that you are king, not him. That you are boss, not him. He is on a leash and he has to be listening to what you say. He cannot, he cannot tempt the Lord his God. He cannot 
he, he obeys and worships you. He must listen to what you say, Lord. So I come pleading with the Holy Spirit. I come in agreement with you, Holy Spirit. Let us continue to conquer and destroy and have dominion over these spirits and demons that think they could play folly with our family and friends and loved ones. So I pray over Brother, Brother, Brother Boyce Moses right now in the name of Jesus that she will be completely and transformed and radically healed in the name of Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. Send out your angels. Send out your ministry spirits. Let them heal and cleanse her anew from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Hallelujah. I praise this in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen, and amen. Oh, this is so good, man. This is so good. I am so amped right now. It is insane. I can't even contain myself. Amazing. Let's go. Next prayer, we're praying for Sister Cushy, who is in the midst of spiritual warfare in her house. Her family is not saved. Her, her, she has constantly have to battle with spirits and demons because they're trying to bring her back to her old life of the occult, trying to call her back into witchcraft, call her back into the to the kingdom of darkness. And we need to pray for our sister. She has come out of a lifestyle that was that was teething with spiritual decay, teething with spiritual wickedness, and now she's being filled with the Holy Spirit of God and she's doing battle with the enemy. We need to pray for Sister Cushy right now. She is experiencing spiritual warfare in her home. We're going to pray for deliverance. We're praying for a hedge of protection around her. We're praying for the armor of God upon her. We're praying for these spirits and demons to be cast out because they are suckers and they must be obeying the name of Jesus. I am coming with the sword of the Spirit. The demons must obey. It says in the word of Luke chapter 10, Verse 17 through 20, it says, Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy. That is, all the demons, all of Satan. We have power and authority over all of them. But do not rejoice that the spirits are subject to you, which means they are, but don't rejoice in it. Rejoice that your name is written in heaven. That is why we have this power. It's not that we need to rejoice in it. We, not, we don't need to praise and, and be glad for it. We need to praise God that our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. So we have spirits they must be subjected to the name of jesus they have to flee they have to be casted out we are called to cast out demons we are called to set the captives free we are called to pray and heal the sick and that's what we're going to do right now in the name of jesus christ let's go father god i am praying and pleading the blood right now over my sister cushy lord wherever she is right now in the physical i'm not next to her but i lay my hands in the spiritual lord let her first put on the full armor of god hallelujah lord where she's ready to do combat in jesus name or where she is right now in her household in her room wherever she is in lord right now i pray the full armor of god upon her vessel holy spirit speak through me right now speak to me let prophetic words leave my mouth i'm praying right now even if no the sister because she's not watching this i know she's being prepared for battle i'm praying the full armor of god upon her body put the sword of the spirit in her hand spiritually put the shield of faith in her hand spiritually put the armor of god upon her spiritually because she is going through battle against spirits and demons in her household lord i'm praying right now with the fullness of the spirit of god within me talk do not cease holy spirit speak to me right now hallelujah lord i'm ready to fight and intercede upon my sister behalf lord i'm praying over her household right now any spirits and demons that are in her family i cast out in the name of jesus Christ, I cast deliverance over all of her family right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of disobedience, every spirit of idolatry, every spirit of religion, every spirit uh, spirit of false religion, Lord, every spirit that does not obey the name of Jesus Christ right now, I cast out and send it back to the abyss. I cast out of the bodies of her parents and her family members right now in the name of Jesus and send those spirits right where they belong back into the abyss. Hallelujah, Father God. I'm praying deliverance over her family right now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for any spirits that are within my sister right now, any spirits of anxiety or doubt and worry, I cast out in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Lord, she is filled with the Holy Spirit. She is filled with the arm of God. She is filled with the word of God. She is in continuous battle. She is standing firm in our faith, Lord. And I'm casting out any spirits. I'm rebuking any spirits in Jesus' name. Get behind me, singing. Get behind me, demon. Get behind me, spirit. Get behind me, strong man. I cut the cord. I cut the tie. I cut the contract. Whatever her family is obeying, they're Hindu or false gods, Lord. I cut the tie. I destroy and dismantle the works of the idols upon her household. Hallelujah. Speak through me, Holy Spirit. I'm ready to fight something. Hallelujah. I'm casting out every single demon that hides in the, her, the idols of her household, Lord. Any demon that hides in the, in the household, any idols that are within her household, let them break and let them shatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Speak through me, Holy Spirit. We're going to fight these demons head on. I'm coming head on. I'm coming in the spiritual realm. I'm coming to Sister Kushi's house right now in the spiritual realm. And I'm taking out and I'm claiming authority in the name of Jesus. That house is covered in the blood. Speak through me, Holy Spirit. Let my sister Kushi know right now as I'm battling with her, Lord, that she is not alone. I pray your warring angels right now to come and destroy and relinquish these 
these demons, these spirits that hide in her family, Lord, to think that they are going to go another day worshiping their Hindu gods or worshiping their false gods or whatever they believe, Lord. I'm praying right now that they will be, obey and listen and to hear the words of the one true God, the triune God, the Yahweh, the mighty deliverer, the Lion of Judah, the Alpha of the Omega, the Lamb of God, Lord. I'm praying right now that they will hear the Prince of Peace and their hearts will be still and their minds will be soft and they'll be ready to receive the free gift of salvation. I'm praying over all of her family right now in the name of Jesus Christ that all of her family will come to Christ. Lord, I will not doubt you. I will not worry. I will not be anxious. I am ready to fight tonight. I'm praying over all of her family that they will be casted out of all their demons and they will be sanctified and they will come to their knees and they will beg and plead and say, Father, forgive us of our wrongs. Our daughter was right the whole time. You are the true God, not these false gods, not these idols carved by men. I want to believe the God that is invisible. His attributes are visible in the earth, but he is an invisible God. Lord, I'm praying right now that the baptism of the Holy Spirit will be upon her family, that they will come to the foot of the cross and they will repent and surrender to the Lord and the King of Kings and Lord of Lords right now in the name of Jesus Christ, that my sister Christian will not be alone in her household. Lord, I speak prophetic words over her house, Lord, that she will host Bible studies with her and her family right now in the name of Jesus, that her house will be a home church right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord. That her house will be a house of God. Like it says in Joshua, for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. I'm praying that right prophetically over my sister Cushy right now. She is not alone in battle. She is not alone. I am interceding on her behalf right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. She is not alone. She is with the warring saints. She is with the body of Christ. She is in the correct side. She is on the winning side. She used to be on the losing side and she thought she was full of power in darkness. No, she's full of power in the light. I expose darkness in her household right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I expose the work of the enemy in her household in the name of Jesus Christ. I expose the works of the devils and the spirits that hide in her household monitoring her in Jesus name I'm praying a hedge of protection around her household that she will not just rest she will rest in the Lord tonight she will sleep beautifully tonight knowing that her God has heard her pleas that her God will deliver her from the spirits and demons that constantly plague her life Lord and I pray this in Jesus almighty name amen and amen <clears throat> that's what I'm talking about that's what I'm talking about mm -hmm. that's where I'm going that's where we're taking it. That's where I'm taking it. Deliverance, spiritual warfare, 101, prayer and deliverance is happening tonight on this live stream. I don't care what the devil says. I don't care what's going on with the demons and spirits. They can say all they want. They can talk in my ear. They can talk in this ear and talk in that ear. But I know my God, my God is powerful. My God is in a completely different weight class. He could just breathe, sniff. He could out of his nostrils and the devil would die. Okay, my God doesn't have to do anything. He sends his angels to do battle. My God can sit on his throne because he is worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. So he sends his angels. He sends us to do battle with the enemy. He sends us filled with the spirit to take the territories from the devil and demons. I'm not talking about physical ground. I'm talking about spiritual ground. Let's pray for our families tonight, guys. Let's pray for our families. Those people that we say, oh God, can you please save them? When was the last time you earnestly prayed for those people that need Jesus? Okay, we're praying for them tonight. Let's go. We're praying for Brother Evan. We're praying for complete and total healing over all of his body, all of his organs, every single thing. We're praying over Brother Evan right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will see proof, okay, proof that this prayer has been done tonight. Let's go. Father God, Almighty Yahweh, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who am I but just a vessel? Who am I but just a servant? To be in all of your power is amazing. It is awe-inspiring. I am awestruck by the matchless power that you have. Lord. You are all-powerful. The enemy has nothing on you. He has nothing on you. Yes, he can tempt. Yes, he can confuse and lie. But, Father, he has no power. He cannot take you face on, Lord. So I am coming with the Spirit of God upon me, Lord. I am speaking with the words that you have put in my mouth, Lord. If I am wrong, you rebuke me right now. I will not walk as false witness. I will speak according to the will of the Father, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I'm praying over my brother Evan right now in the name of Jesus, not only complete and total healing over all of his body, there's a spirit of infirmity that is upon him, I cast out and rebuke and sent to the abyss in Jesus Christ, almighty name, hallelujah, Lord, I'm not just going to pray over my brother a complete healing, Lord, I thank you, Jesus, that that is the case, but I'm praying complete and total deliverance of any spirits or demons that's within him, within his family, within his household, I'm praying that right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I am praying a casting out of any demon, any any tormentor, any spirit, any succubus 
spirit, any incubus spirit, any Jezebel spirit, any spirit of Delilah in his household right now in the name of your spirit of lust. Any spirit or demon that's within my brother Evan's household right now, let it be casted out into the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be full and total deliverance right now in brother Evan's house right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let them be healed completely, physically, spiritually, mentally transformed by the power of the blood of Christ, by the power of the lamb, the lamb that was slain on the cross for your, by your stripes. He is healed, hallelujah, by your stripes. He is healed, hallelujah, by your stripes. Brother Evan is healed. It doesn't matter what time zone his, uh, he's in, I'm in. It doesn't matter if he's next to me, if he's far away. I come in the spiritual realm. I come in the unseen realm. I'm coming with the sword of the spirit and the shield of faith and the armor of God upon my body. And I go to war alongside my brothers and sisters. And I'm praying for a brother who is down and out. I'm praying for a brother who needs healing of sickness. I'm praying for a brother who needs to be casted out with the spirit of infernity. I'm praying right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the total, complete work of you, Jesus Christ, that you did on the work. Let the finished work of the cross take its place right now in Brother Zeman's heart and his mind and his body. Let every spirit of infirmity be casted out and sent into the abyss right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I'm praying over his family. Let them be complete and total surrendering of their repentance to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let the spirit of disobedience and rebellion be cast out. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Lord. Any spirit of religion, any spirit of idolatry in his household, Lord, let it be cast out. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I come with the sword of the spirit, the sword that's sharper than any two-edged sword. I come with the word of God. You say, it is written. Be gone. Get behind me, Satan. It is written. You will not test the Lord your God. You will worship your God and only him. Hallelujah, Lord. It doesn't matter what the devil does to the church. It doesn't matter what he thinks he can do. He is limited in his resources and power, and he will not waste his time. So, Father God, I want to make sure that he does not waste his time on my brother Evan and his family. They are covered in the blood of Jesus. They have put the blood. I put the blood in the spiritual realm upon his door, on the top, on each door frame of his household. Let the blood of the Lamb be upon his door frames, Lord, that no enter, no spirit, no demon can enter into the household, Lord. I pray any legal rights, let the contracts be cut right now in the name of Jesus. Let the ropes and the strong man be cut and severed right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Let them be free. Let the chains be unshackled. Let the chains be destroyed, demolished, decimated, and let those chains free the slaves that are in Brother Evan's house, those spiritual slaves, slaves to bondage, slaves to sin, slaves to pornography, slaves to lust, slaves to, to lying and cheating and envying. Let those slaves uh, uh, those slaves, let them be free. Let the captives be free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them go and serve you and not serve the devil no longer. And I pray this in Jesus' almighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Okay, next prayer. We're praying for Brother Randy to completely follow the Lord and all his, all his, um, all his uh, actions, all his thoughts, anything that God wants him to do. He wants to be led by the Spirit to do so. We're going to be praying for my brother Randy right now in the name of Jesus. I grabbed it from from the from the set of water over there. Sister London, welcome. I'm just letting you know we're doing some powerful, powerful prayers tonight. We're doing prayers of deliverance. If you have any prayer requests, if you need any deliverance, any spirit in your household, any spirit that you're warring with, whatever it is, place it in the chat and let's pray for you directly. If not, let's continue to move forward. We're praying for Brother Randy to follow the Lord completely in all his actions, all his decisions, all his thoughts. I want. We're praying for a move of the Holy Spirit upon my brother. What happened? Wow. <laughs> nice. Okay, here we go. Praying for my brother Randy. I love this brother. He is a beloved brother of mine. I'm praying for him in the spiritual realm. Here we go. Father God, we are continuing to pray without ceasing, Lord. I am ready and willing and able to be on the front lines of spiritual warfare. I am ready to stand directly alongside the prayer warriors of the body of Christ. I'm willing to stand directly amongst the deliverers and the, the, the deliverance ministries, Lord. Even though my ministry is not deliverance, I pray deliverance tonight, Father God. This is a powerful, powerful move of the Holy Spirit, not just on my stream, but all the workings that you're doing in through the body of Christ, Lord. I lift up right now to the 
throne of grace right now. I intercede on behalf of my brother Randy. I love this man. This is a sword sharpener of my life. We fellowship personally. I am lifting him up to the throne of grace right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, speak through me right now. Let it not quench. I'm not quenching you tonight. I'm ready to go to battle. I'm praying right now a full and complete surrendering of my brother Randy's heart to you, Jesus Christ, that he will listen to every single prompting of the Holy Spirit. He will have discernment to know when it's your voice, his voice, or the devil's voice. I'm praying over full guidance by you, Holy Spirit. I'm praying full, complete surrendering to the cross. Hallelujah. I am praying for him to be redirected and continue to press on the narrow path, the path that is difficult, the path, the path that is not liked, the path that requires to sacrifice everything, Lord, because you have sacrificed everything for us. You say you must deny your flesh, deny yourself, deny your flesh, pick up your cross and follow you, Jesus. And that is what we're doing. That's why I'm praying over my brother Randy right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that he will deny himself, pick up his cross and follow you. All three in that order, Lord, denying of our flesh, denying of our desires, denying of our wants and our thoughts and all the things that we want. We put that aside. We let that be crucified. We carry the burdens of the cross. We carry the burdens of our crucifixion that you have done on the cross. We carry that every single day, crucifying the flesh, crucifying the flesh. Flesh, crucifying the flesh, Lord. I'm praying my brother Randy will crucify his flesh daily. It is not worth entertaining. It is not worth entertaining sin. It is not worth entertaining the desires of the flesh. It is worth every single thing to follow in the footsteps of the Holy Spirit's guidance. Hallelujah. I'm praying that over my brother Randy right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will have spiritual discernment. I'm praying right now in the name of Jesus, you will have spiritual discernment to know when it's your voice, his voice, and the devil's voice. And I pray and plead the blood that he will always listen to your voice, Father God, that he will be obedient to what your prompting is everywhere he goes in his workplace at his home but i'm praying over his wife right now holy spirit speak to me right now. i'm praying over his wife right now in the name of jesus christ that nikki will give her life to you jesus christ she will surrender everything to you father god i am ready to pray for family lord let us go i'm ready to do battle against the enemy i'm praying full and complete deliverance over uh my brother randy's uh wife's heart nikki right now in the name of jesus let there be a radical transformation in her heart right now where she is where she stands where she sleeps on her knees wherever she is in randy's household right now in the name of jesus christ that she will be set free. Whatever chains that are holding her to the ground, whatever spiritual chains that are holding her to the ground, whatever spirit or demon that's holding her to the ground, Lord, I'm cutting and binding those contracts right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the enemy to think that he can mess with my brother Randy's wife right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke the works of Satan thinking that he can have a hold on brother Randy's wife right now in the name of Jesus. I am praying and interceding for my brother right now where he stands with the full armor of God upon myself and him. Right now we're praying and interceding for his wife that she will be a woman of God. She will be a, a woman that's going to proclaim God's word to others, Father God, that she will be a sword sharpener to other sisters, that she will be a disciple maker to other sisters, Father God, she will be an example, a role model of what it means to be a woman that is fearing the Lord, for there is nothing more precious than a woman that fears the Lord. I'm praying over my brother Randy's wife right now, her heart, let it be radically transformed. You see, you remove a heart of stone and you replace it with a heart of flesh and a new heart and a new spirit in the words of Ezekiel, Father God, I'm praying that over prophetically over sister Nikki's heart right now in the name of Jesus, that she will already give her life to you and serve you and I want to I can't wait to hear the testimony that's going to come out of her lips through my brother Randy that like you wouldn't believe what just happened Lord that, that she just, just wants to serve God now I can't wait to hear that prayer I can't wait to hear that testimony I am filled with joy already oh Lord because I already know you're working on it in the future Father God you're already working behind the scene you're already moving in the spiritual realm and Lord, I don't have to do nothing but ask and plead and ask the Father you say when I, whatever you ask in my name I shall give what I'm praying if it's in accordance to your will be done let uh, brother Randy's wife let her be mesmerized by the word. Let her be, have a hunger for the Bible. Let her have a hunger for you, Jesus. Let her, all she desires is you, her appetite. Let her be filled with the word of God. I'm praying over Brother Randy and his wife and his daughter right now, Emma Rose, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm praying over that whole family. Let a hedge of protection be around that whole household, Father God, from the north to the south to the east to the west, around their whole household in their bed. I pray the blood of the Lamb will be upon the door frames of the household that no spiritual demon or, or no spiritual entity or demon will enter through the byways or the back door or through the alleyways or through the basement, Lord, of the spiritual house, Lord, that he ha he's dwelling within. I'm praying a full hedge of protection around his household, Father God. I'm praying a full hedge of protection around where he sleeps, his bedroom, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I plead the blood over my brother Randy that he will successfully and fulfill the words and the will that you have for him, Lord, that he will hear well done, good and faithful servant at the end of his life. Hallelujah. And I pray this in Jesus' almighty name. Amen and amen. Here we go. I am ready for battle. Okay, I, I've been I've been so amped since this morning to, to, to do spiritual warfare. Okay, if anyone needs deliverance, if anyone needs prayer, throw it in the comments, throw it in the question box. If not, just join alongside me, brothers and sisters, and let's go to war against the enemy. We are Christians. 
we are the remnant that God has placed on this earth to be a light and salt to those around us. We are supposed to make people jealous for Jesus, okay? We need to stop acting like, oh, woe is me. And we want to make people understand that there's a reason, there's something about this Christian that they just, I just want to know who they serve. We got to show the world what it means to be a Christian. Yes, we're going to fail. Yes, we're going to fall. But that does not mean we need to play this pity party Christian world walk that, oh, woe is me and all this and all that that and yeah i'm messing up and oh i don't know if i could do this no we gotta walk in the fullness of the power and authority of the holy spirit we need to continue to proclaim god's good word to the lost we act like the lost okay holy spirit speak through me tonight we gotta stop acting like we're lost like we have no jesus we have no holy spirit we're just like one of them we're just like the world no we are set aside we have been put aside yes we live in the world but we are not of the world we live in the world, but we're not of the world. We are supposed to be a light and salt. Jesus says, "If you are, if you are, you, you're supposed to be the salt of the earth. If you lose your saltiness, there is no reason for your walk. There's no reason for your existence. Your minds will be used as dung, as maneuver, as fertilizer for the for the for the plants. Okay, your light, the light of God, should not be hidden under your bed. It should not be hidden under a lampstand. It should be shining brightly on the mountain tops. People should be seeing your light extend through your household, and they'd be like, "What is happening?" in that person's house we should be praying and interceding for our families every single day let's go let's go i'm so filled it's crazy i i can't stop it's wartime i'm ready for war this is what the ministry is about war armored fusion battle mode 100 i'm ready to do combat here we go now i'm gonna be praying for my cousin luigi for his studies for school praying for for a for a, for a means for him god to allow him to move through the education system that he will be used in a specific way or manner because you understand that God does all things for all his goodness for all his glory so we're praying and interceding for my cousin Luigi right now in the name of Jesus here we go Father God, I just thank you, Jesus. You, I thank you, Lord. Let me just check the time. Okay, I thank you, Lord, right now. That Lord, you have taken this platform. You have taken it. And you have. Elevated elevated to where it needs to be this is what this channel was always supposed to be out this is supposed to be a war battle mode battleship armored ephesian ministry this was the ministry was all about it's about studying god's word and applying god's word we are studying god's word on sunday and applying god's word the next day we are studying the word of god ministering and meditating on the word of god and then we're taking those same words and we're using it against the enemy right now in the name of jesus christ this is what this ministry is all about we are ready to do battle yes it's not a deliverance ministry that is not what this ministry is about but Lord, I am ready to do deliverance because that's what every single Christian is supposed to be doing. Praying over the sick, casting out demons, and set the captives free. We are supposed to proclaim the good news of God to all of the world. The gospel, people must hear the words of the gospel. Lord, Father God, speak through me right now. I'm praying over my cousin Luigi, Lord, that you will use his studies as a way to maneuver through the education system, that you will use that platform, that position to put him in some place, Lord, that you need him to proclaim God's good word to someone specifically, one person, Lord. I'm praying prophetic and powerful prayers tonight wherever you take him through this educational means wherever you take him through this life this learning this degree wherever this place that you take him lord whatever he ends up because of his studies i pray the one person that he interacts with lord the one person that you place before him whoever it is a man female whoever a boss co-worker whoever it is i pray right now in the name of jesus christ that he will share the good news of christ to that one person because he all of the studies that he did and all the accolades and degrees that you took him through lord and all the difficulties of studying and all the difficulties of education lord i pray that one person right now in the name of jesus right now wherever it is in the future father god right now in the name of jesus that one person will come to the foot of the cross and give their life to you say when one person re repents and surrenders to the lord one person repents and surrenders to the cross when they give their life to you jesus that all the angels in heaven rejoice imagine lord i cannot wait for that moment lord to hear from my cousin lord i pray over his studies i pray over a disciplined mind that he will put himself in his studies first of course your word and of course prayer and meditation of scripture lord but i pray lord he will apply himself to his studies not be a sluggard not be lazy lord i pray you will fill him with energy and vigor and valor lord to do what you have called him to do lord in this world whatever it is father god i'm praying over my cousin luigi right now in the name of jesus christ lord that you will fill his mind his body his spirit his soul or whatever it is with the word of god that he will stand on the word not himself not in his own logic not in his own knowledge not in our own strength lord i pray you will stand on the rock 
of this world. You are the rock. I pray he's built his house upon rock, not upon sand, that he will do exactly what you have called him to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are ready, Lord. I am not stopping tonight. This is going to be a full-on prayer deliverance meeting, and we're going full throttle in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Oh, that's Luigi's. Oh, I got to add him. Okay, now let's do this prayer. Okay, prayer for my brother who is in prison, that God may protect him. May he realize it, re realizes soon. He re realizes soon that he may realize it soon. You mean like you want your brother to realize God is protecting him, Sister Jessica, or you want him? Do you want him to leave prison? Just explain that last part for me. But regardless, we're praying in the spirit, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna pray in the spirit for your brother who is in prison right now, in the name of Jesus. Here we go. Let's do. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to pray for your brother. And we're not going to just pray protection. We're going to pray healing, deliverance, and radical rest uh, restoration of his heart. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is going to be absolutely powerful stuff right now. And I'm going to read. Sorry, to be released. Okay. That's beautiful. That's exactly what I was thinking about anyways. Here we go. I'm reading this again because this is what is applying to this prayer meeting tonight. I'm telling you, something's different. Something's Something is, is, God has been stirring my spirit all day, all day, all morning, through my lunch break, through the train, all my reading of scripture today, all just, just spurring my spirit, getting ready to pray, intercede, to cast out, to pray for the sake, cast out demons, let the captives be set free. We're praying this right now for your brother. We're going to read this first, Sister Jessica. I need you. I need you to put on that armor, sister. I need you to put on the armor. Pray with me. Let's pray for your brother. I'm going to be intentional with this prayer. I mean, I'm not praying no fluff prayer. Okay, I'm not praying, oh God, can you, no, I'm praying for real prayers. I'm praying spiritually intentional prayers for your brother. Let's go. The 72 returned with joy. Here we go, sister. Hear this word saying the Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you, sister, this is, here he goes. I give you power and authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all, here we go, all the power of the enemy and nothing shall harm you. That is for your brother right there, sister. We're going to pray that in the name of Jesus. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you. They are subject to us, but do not rejoice in it, but rejoice that your names are written in the Lamb's book of life. We are praying this over your brother right now in the name of Jesus. I got my sword ready. I got the word in my mouth, the sword of the spirit in my tongue, and I'm ready to do battle. Let's go, Sister Jessica. Pray and plead alongside me for your brother. I'm ready to do battle. Let's do this. The prison is full of spirits and demons. We're going to pray for your brother's protection. We're going to pray for your brother's release, and we're going to pray for a radical restoration of his heart, soul, and mind right now in the name of Jesus. Let's go. Father God, you already know what I'm coming with and you already know who I'm praying for. You already know when my sister Jessica put the prayer request, I am praying and interceding alongside her for her brother right now in prison, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. I take this prayer to the spiritual. I take this prayer to the spiritual. I take this prayer to the unseen eternal realm. I'm praying right now the sword of the spirit upon my mind, my mouth, and my hands, Lord. I take the battle to the enemy in the prison right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray your angels, not only will they protect her brother in the name of Jesus Christ in his cell, where he sleeps, where he lays his head, Lord. I pray, Lord, you will visit him in the prison. Hallelujah. Speak through me, Holy Spirit. I am ready to battle. I pray you will send your angels to minister to him in the prison cell, Lord, that you will have a beautiful, beautiful vision of who you are and what you've done on the cross, and that you will understand that there is a reason why he is in that prison right now as I speak, Father God. Oh, Holy Spirit, let's go. Hallelujah, Lord. I'm praying right now over her brother that you will send your war angels to protect and against any spirits or demons that are attacking her brother right now that is plaguing her brother's mind in the name of Jesus I am praying full on deliverance right now over her brother whatever spirit is inside of him whatever demon that's inside of him whatever spirit or demon that is around him and the other prisoners Lord I'm praying right now in the name of Jesus Christ deliverance over her brother that every spirit and demon will hear the sound of my voice every spirit and demon in the spiritual realm Lord I'm pinpointing and accurately intentionally praying for her brother where he is exactly lord you know the location i'm just sending up the coordinates hallelujah lord i pray right now over her brother in the name of jesus christ in that specific prison so where he lays his bed where he looks wherever wherever place he's on left or right of that cage lord i'm praying right now that you will set the captives free lord let that that sentence let it be shorter father god let him come out serving you hallelujah let's set that captive free and let him serve you in the name of jesus hallelujah and while you still have him there lord let him proclaim the good news 
of Christ, hallelujah, to those prisoners. Father God, put a Bible in his hand. Woo! Holy Spirit, speak through me right now tonight. Put a Bible in his hand tonight, Father God. Put a Bible in his hand tonight. Put the written word of God upon his heart, Lord, that he will recite scripture to any other cellmate that he's sleeping with, Father God. Any cellmate that he's speaking to right now, or any cellmate that he's going to speak to tomorrow, Lord. If you give him the date tomorrow, Lord, let him proclaim the good news of Christ in that prison cell, Lord. And that when he steps out, and when he sees his sister Jessica, he will say that God has visited me. He has sent his angels to me. He has ministered to me. He has shown me that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto the Father but Jesus and Christ himself. Father God, I'm pleading the blood over him right now. I destroy and cut the cord of any contracts, any legal contracts in the spiritual realm between him and the devil and the spirit. Lord, I cut and destroy and dismantle and uproot the works of the enemy in that prison right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, speak through me. I am intentionally sniping and hitting those uh, spirits and demons where they are in the prison. Lord, and I pray that you will confuse their language and send them back to their camp. Lord, they will speak to Satan himself and say, there's a Christian praying for this person. There's a Christian praying for this person. We cannot have and we cannot have legal ground because this Christian, whoever it is, keeps sending attacks our way. Speak through me, Holy Spirit. Let the fire of God be upon my lips, Lord. Let the fire of God be upon that prison, Lord, that her brother will know that the word of God is true, that he will know that God exists, and there's a creator that created him, that he was born for a purpose and a reason, and he will know exactly what that means right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak through me. Let the prophetic words leave my lips, Father God, that he will know and heed the word of God and say, I repent of my sin, and I surrender to the crown. I surrender my crown to the throne of grace right now in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I lay the blood over his head from the top of his head to the sole of his feet hallelujah I pray the blood of the lamb upon the sole of the top of his head to the sole of his feet Lord he will rest in peace tonight he will not worry he will not be scared he will not fear for there you say you do not give us a spirit of fear but you give us that of a love power and a sound mind let him have a sound mind tonight father God and let him know that the word of God is true and living and the word of God is sharper than any two edged sword this is the weapon that I need to fight the enemy I don't need no other weapon. I don't need a gun. I don't need real weapons. I need a spiritual weapon that's stronger than any physical weapon the enemy could throw at me. Father God, I pray over her brother right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that he will be touched by your hands. Hallelujah. He will be touched by your hands, Father God, because we are coming with the full battalion in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Let that army advance where that man is, Lord. And I pray this in your precious name. Amen and amen. Wow. Sister Jessica, you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. Your brother's going to be just fine. Just fine. Hallelujah. Woo! Holy Spirit. Coming out swinging tonight. The enemy has no chance. Mm -mm. No chance. No chance. The enemy is running. Man, I feel like I've just been activated or something, man. I feel like God just activated me. God is amazing. I worship you, Lord. I praise you, Father. All the glory, all the praise, all the honor has nothing at all to do with me. I am just a vessel. I want my brothers and sisters to understand this. I am just a vessel, nothing more, nothing less. I, I am dying to myself. I pick up my cross and I follow you, Jesus. All the glory, all the praise, all the honor, Lord, it goes to you and straight to you. I don't want none of it. No prick, excuse me, no honor. No glory, none of it for me, all for you to to even to even give you honor, to even praise your name, to even to even bless your name, Father God, to just just to be in awe of you. That is the honor itself. I humble myself before you, Father God. All the glory, all the praise, all the honor goes to you for every single prayer that was lifted up tonight. Every single answer prayer lifted up to you. I have joy, joy in my heart. I rejoice. I rejoice, Father God. I rejoice, Father, for all the prayers you have answered tonight, all the prayers you did not answer. I still rejoice, Father God, because you are a good, good Father. You are a good, good shepherd. You know what your sheep need. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You make me lie down in the green pastures. You lead me by the still waters. You restore my soul. You lead me in the paths of righteousness for your namesake. Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the Whoa, Holy Spirit. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Your rod and your staff are with me. They comfort me, and you make a table in the midst of my enemies. I sit at the Lord's table. I sit with my brothers. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. 
I sit at the table, Father God. You put me to sit down in the robes of beautiful purity. I sit with my brothers and my sisters and my wife and my children. We sit at the Lord's banquet and I sit in the front of my demons. I sit in front of these spirits and they can have their glaring eyes and their red little squinted eyes and the devil himself can be over there looking petty and I can't wait to see what they look, the, the looks on their face when Lord you serve me. Peace, rest, joy, patience, goodness, uh, uh, goodness, gentleness, meekness, self-control, and faithfulness in my plate. I am served with the deliciousness and the delicacies of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are a provider. I do not need nothing else. All I need is this word. All I need is this delicious table you have set before me. And I want the devils and the spirits to look at me while I eat this delicious banquet. Hallelujah. I want the spirits and demons, demons to look at me. I'm going to smile right back. I'm saying, sorry, you cannot have, sir. Sorry, you cannot have spirit. Sorry, you cannot have devil. You messed up. Up. You follow the uh, you follow the heaven like lightning. Sorry about that. Not my problem. I'm a feast with my brothers and sisters, and you're gonna anoint our head with oil. Cleanse me, heal me, heal my brothers and sisters. This is a word for me. Hallelujah. Heal us, Lord, with the precious oil. Anoint us with the oil. Take away the spirits and demons. Take away the spirit of anxiety and spirit of doubt and worry. Lord, I come with the confidence and the boldness of the faith that you have placed inside of me. I, Lord, I am praising you tonight. Hallelujah. Anoint our heads with oil and my cup runneth over tonight. Let my cup run up over so much that it will pour up into my brothers and sisters that need the water. Hallelujah. I, I pour, pour my overflowing cup into my brothers and sisters. They'll be filled with the fire of God. I fan the flames of the fires upon my brothers and sisters that they will do the exact same thing I did tonight and even more so. Hallelujah. And surely, whew, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my, in my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms 23. That is what I'm talking about. That's how we end a prayer meeting. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. Your word is on my heart. is written, engraved, and engrafted upon my heart. I pray that over my brothers and sisters, I fan their flame inside of them, Lord. Let them not be fearful of an enemy who's on the run, who has limited resources, limited demons, limited spirits, and I have the whole army of heaven behind me. I have the whole of my brothers and sisters we do this in unity together we fight as a standard hallelujah in jesus name i pray amen and amen Woo! oh my goodness are you kidding me right now are you kidding me that was that, oh man i did not expect that i didn't expect that mm -mm. i just want to encourage you i want to encourage you right now okay What's happening right now, okay, spiritually, spiritual realm, right, is that God is advancing his army. I don't know if you've ever seen a movie, uh, 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 you know, playing back to an old um, timeline and battles back in the day. They will fight, armies would fight in rows. They would be one row, one row, one row, and they would advance to the enemy. The enemy would advance towards them. That They will stop the, the kings of the or leaders of the army. They would meet each other and they would say what's about to go down. They will go back and the armies will collide, okay? What's happening with God's army is that we're being pushed. Whether you like it or not, God's moving you. He's moving you in the army. I don't care if you think you're not equipped. I don't think if you're not capable, you need to wake up and you need to get in step because there's soldiers they're in the battlefield right now. There's brothers and sisters that are praying, interceding, delivering, preaching, and pre uh, spreading the gospel so far and wide from the north to the east. I mean, north to the south, the east to the west. And they're pushing the God's pushing them to move the army forward. Okay, you are. In, if you feel like you don't have it in you, you're in the middle of that army. Okay, you're in the middle of the ranks in the barracks. Right, and this this army is just moving forward. So what, it doesn't matter what you do. God is slowly pushing and advancing the kingdom of God, and they're gonna completely destroy the kingdom of darkness. I cannot wait for that day. I cannot wait for that that actual moment. We will be fighting against angels, against the kingdom of darkness, and we will destroy Satan for the last time. I cannot wait for that battle, the prophetic battle that's shown in Revelation in the end book, as happening right now. We have brothers and sisters that are waking up. I woke up. Today was just amazing. God was like, I need you to get back to where you were, praying and interceding like never before, on fire for God. But God taught me that I must be consistent. I must be 
discipline in my flesh. I have to discipline my flesh. And I'm praying right now. Please, guys, pray for me. Don't don't think I just pray like this. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for your leaders. Pray for the pastors. Pray for those that are that have been given authority. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Because you don't understand when they do works against the enemy, the enemy hates hates Christians that know the truth. They, he hates Christians that are active. He hates Christians that pray and intercede and fast and fight for one another. We need to be a threat to the Satan. We need to stop playing patty cake and jump rope with Satan in the playground. Like, oh, Satan, you're over there. I'm over here. You know, if I don't bother you, you don't bother me. No, the devil's going to bother you regardless. Okay, so you need to stop playing around with him. Stop playing around with your sin. Stop playing around with that secret sin. Stop playing around with those struggles. Break the strongholds. Get in the word. Fast and be delivered and move in the power and authority of the Holy Ghost. And you will see how God just blows you away as he's been blowing my mind today. He's been blowing my mind away. I can't even, I can't even describe all the things. It, it's just out of this world. And it's just one day and a day and a day and a day and the, one day after the next. And I just praise God for today. I praise God that we were able to pray and intercede for one another. I praise God that we were able to pray for family. I want you guys to pray for family. Do not stop. Pray for those unsaved family members. Pray for your children. Pray for your parents. Pray for your grandparents. Pray for your co-workers, your friends. Don't stop just because you don't see them changing. Okay, you don't, you don't see the, the works of God happening. God works behind the scenes. Everything is planned accordingly. So we need to continue to pray and intercede for our family. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. We are not excused from this battle. We are not put on the sidelines. God puts us in the army when you sign up, when you say, God, I give my life to you. And say, God says, okay, I put you in the battle. Okay, no one is exempt from spiritual warfare. Nobody, okay? Um, Sunday doing the next Bible study Sunday, Monday, doing the next Bible study. I'm going to end this out. I love you guys. God bless you. I praise God for this prayer meeting. It has been absolutely phenomenal. And I thank Jesus for all the power and all the whooping the enemy got tonight. And I pray this in Jesus' name. This was an awesome stream. Thank you for joining. God bless you. Have a good night. Stay faithful. Stay encouraged. Be edified. I fan your flame. I speak life into you. In Jesus' name.